I just wanted to make a video for, uh, I made a, a post on the forums, uh, the Path of Exile forums, on a Explosive Arrow Elemental Equilibrium build. And uh, I had a few messages wanting to kind of get a better idea of my playstyle on it, uh, because with Elemental Equilibrium, uh, there is certain requirements to your gear, um, and uh, a, a way of playing so you can trigger EE and get the most out of your damage. Uh, so, uh, basically, I have my gear uh, posted in the forum post, my current gear. Uh, it's nothing special. Uh, I got I got two five links. I lucked out um, the other day and managed to use three fusings on my quill rain and got it five linked. Uh, never have happened to me and I've been playing this since uh, closed beta. So, uh, But basically my gem setup. In uh, my first five link I have item rarity, culling strike, chain, split arrow, and blind. <coughs> And for my uh, explosive arrow here, I have fire pen, uh, chance to ignite, increased burning damage, elemental prolif, and uh, explosive arrow, obviously. Now, you'll notice that none of these gems are quality, uh, except for my explosive arrow. And uh, none of the gems in here are quality either, which uh, obviously I need to work on. Uh, but um, that aside, uh, I still have no problem clearing maps. Okay, uh, my life right now is at 3,900 roughly. Um, now let's go into uh, the lab. I'm going to have slower loading times because I am running fraps obviously to record this. But um, So I normally run Vitality, uh, which drops my health to about uh, 3k. Uh, I don't have any reduced uh, nodes in the tree. Uh, this skill, skill tree is at 82. Uh, I have it up in the form as well. So uh, I eventually, when I level up, I'm going to grab this circle here to get the more reduced mana, maybe possibly run two more, uh, or one more aura uh, for the extra armor. But right now, Vitality just helps with uh, life regen. So if you notice now, um, without it, I have about almost 100 life regen per second with Vitality. I'm at about 160, which really helps because split arrow or your explosive arrow costs about 87 mana cost, which obviously converts to life uh, per shot, and you're attacking pretty fast. Uh, you can see it on the left there that it's actually going down, um, but you just get by with using pots when you need to, and the regen is pretty quick. Um, my curse, I use flammability. Um, I just have it linked to faster casting, and also in this in this link I have vitality with reduced mana, so all of this gets reduced mana. And then in my helm, I'm just running a cast when damage taken. I just threw a rejuve totem in there, devouring totem, and molten shell just for the extra survivability. So I'm going to run your map here real quick. Uh, we'll do this one here, uh, 68 map. Just to kind of give you an idea of the play style, um, how you want to tackle specific types of uh, groups of mobs and, and rares and uh, things like that. Now the whole idea, which I mentioned in the, um, in the guide on the forums, is uh, you want to stack, the way Explosive Arrow works is uh, Basically, it fires an arrow which acts short duration fuse, like it describes. Um, you can ca you can shoot up to five arrows on one target. You can shoot more, but it's not going to matter. Um, so once you have your five arrows on the target, uh, increase the blast radius by every arrow uh, you you put on the target. So, um, but we use elemental prolif, so it's just the burning damage is your main source of damage here, and the ignite damage, which is going to prolif to all the other mobs anyways. Uh, and I'll kind of show you how it works. So we're going to stack our explosive arrows on one single target because you want to stack them all on the same target and then um, cast your split arrow or flammability then split arrow so that um, EE triggers and they got the flammability buff up. The explosion happens and you want to hit them again with your split arrow to uh, proc EE again because the explosion did fire damage so you want to proc EE again so the burning damage uh, is, is taken into that too. And uh, I mentioned in the forum post that you don't want any flat fire damage on your gear. Otherwise, when you hit them with your split arrow, it's just going to give them um, a resistance, uh, higher resistance to that, to, f to fire again. So uh, I think the only piece I have with uh, extra added flat damage is my ring. 
which just has 28 lightning damage, which is all you need. You just need one piece with either cold or lightning on it to trigger your elemental e equilibrium um, with your split arrow. Alright, so I'll show you how this works. So stack them. And of course there's got to be a Val Totem here. So stack a couple arrows, find ability, spam your split arrow. Because of culling strike and rarity on my split arrow, it's also it's triggering my um, elemental equilibrium. And then while the burning damage is killing them, I spam my split arrow so that the culling strike can get that rarity proc in there. So stack on one target, flammability, spam split arrow. For name mobs, five stacks, and then spam split arrow. If they're not dead, five more. Keep spam the split arrow. And because I'm running flaps, I'm perhaps I'm lagging, but uh, you get the point here. Uh, very high damage. Uh, once I get my my chance to ignite uh, up, or my quality up on my explosive arrow, uh, it'll bring it to 20% chance to ignite, which uh, the ignite damage on mobs is is crazy high, um, and eventually, and that's a big part of your damage. Totems, I usually stack five charges on there because they barely ever burn. Don't know why. Let's try and get a big pack here. Notice that, uh, and what's really cool is that on humanoid mobs, um, they run away when they're burning. So what happens is they run away and proliferate to other mobs off the off the screen, which works out really well. But uh, you guys get the idea. I'm just gonna portal out here, finish it after this map. Uh, just one more thing to do here, uh, and I'm just gonna show you my defenses real quick. Um, obviously you want your, because you're only running with about 4k health, um, you want to cap your resist. So I'm, I'm capped here. Um, chaos really isn't a big deal. I mean, try, get it if you can, obviously, but if you can't, um, obviously you know what mobs to look uh, out for by now, like the alchemist and this weird snake and the wharf and things like that. Um, my armor is at about 5,500, which is, you know, nothing, nothing amazing. Uh, so my fizz reduction is about 38%. My evasion rating is garbage. Uh, and, you know, hardly any energy shield. But with your life regen and uh, the ability to just have pots in your bar here, and I, I run with a granite just in case, you know, shit gets real. Um, yeah, so a tooltip DPS on your explosive air is only going to be about 90, which obviously, who cares, right? Because you're doing... Uh, 460 to 700 base damage per fuse charge and uh, you're going to be stacking that up on the mob so um, I just want to create this video so you guys get a better idea of the play style uh, it's stack your charges spam split arrow and that's about it um, because your split arrow will and obviously throw flammability in there after you stack your, your arrows but uh, I hope you guys like the build uh, obviously this is nothing new there's been other people that have done variations of this build as well uh, a lot of them start Marauder uh, I like Templar just because of where it's positioned up by the burning nodes and you can get over to the witch area for the AoE effect. Uh, but if you guys got any questions or hell, if you got any suggestions for me, go ahead and put them in the comments. 
And uh, if you have any questions, uh, throw them in my posts on the forums. I'll put a link into the uh, description of this video. And uh, cheers. See you guys.